Evening everyone, welcome to Do Daily, Monday Motivation. It's Daz here, ready to attack the week with real intent and purpose. Of course, it's the first check-in, looking to instill a little bit of positivity, enthusiasm for the things we're doing. Myself, I've had an absolutely fantastic day. So whilst I'm checking in a little late, I've been doing all the things that I like to do on a Monday, especially on a bank holiday Monday, to keep get me and keep me in top form. And staying in top form, staying positive, staying happy and content with lots on is gonna be vitally important this week. But again, just by doing the things I have, it's given me the best possible opportunity. I'll explain a little bit more about that as the episode goes on. But what I will say is today, there's actually been one or two things that could have really, really upset me. Um, one or two people have said the wrong thing at the wrong time. And in a week where I get married on Saturday, there's so much going on. Still putting myself out there for all of us. Still adhering to the commitments through the running club, through Do Daily and, and one or two other things. A few people have just said certain things, but because I've got up, attacked the day, worked off some of the mantras that I create through Do Daily, been for a 13 mile walk today with the Do Running guys. We walked from Edwinstow near Sherwood Forest up to a place called Cresswell Crags, 10 of us. It was absolutely fantastic. And like I say, because I've got out there, got those endorphins flowing, feeling good about everything I've done, another fantastic weekend, really, really uplifting and rewarding to some degree, but uplifting as much as anything, spending time around people I enjoy spending time with, enjoying good experiences. It means that when certain things certain, certain things happen, certain things are said, certain people tend to say the wrong thing, I can almost get over it really, really quickly. And like I say, this week it'd be really, really easy to get fed up, get a little bit bogged down, get stressed with the situation. But I refuse to let that happen. Whilst I'm getting married on Saturday, my sort of idealism, I keep saying to Kay, is that no matter what happens between now and the point we get married on Sunday, we'll be married. And while some might think, oh, that's far too simplistic, you know, and it is simplistic, it's also the thing that's getting me through. I've got lots of things to do in the meantime, but that sort of thought, telling myself that, believing in that, and I do genuinely believe in it, you know, it really, um, it really helps me. And, like I say, start the week whilst it's been busy, start it in the right frame of mind and sort of willing to accept what comes my way. And I mentioned one or two sort of irritations and that, that's all they've been, you know, I'm, it's not manifested into much more than that. I've also had one or two things that I'd forgot to do, you know, forgot to invite someone to the wedding. That really, really upset me because it was just like one of those things person fully understands, a really nice person, and now they've got other plans. So it's been really sort of a little bit tricky in that sense. Everything's coming to a head a little bit with all that. But again, I'm not gonna get fed up about it. What Do Daily is all about is finding ways to make it work for us, to make it sort of happen and enjoy our lives and be happy and content. Of course, I'm making that massive commitment because I'm in a good place anyway. But, and I have been for a long time, but we've got to still live our lives in a way that it's, in a way that we want it to be. I'm sure as the week develops, as we start taking jobs off, I'm going to be absolutely sort of buzzing and excited for the big day itself. And of course, there's going to be lots of chat through Do Daily. It's overtaking things right now, well, rightly so. But again, I'm really, really looking forward to the day. And, and what I'm trying to get to, I guess, with all this is quite often when we prepare for something, when we put so much work in, when the stresses of change plans and things are happening and forgetting to do this start kicking in, 
we can almost start wishing it away. We can almost start sort of losing a bit of motivation for it because we put so much hard work in, because we're a little bit tired, because other things crop up along the way. But with this one, definitely not. Definitely staying in, in a great frame of mind. And like I say, through what I try to be here on Do Daily, honest and um, humble, you know, and realistic and see things the way I see them and, and try and explain it. I think I've got every opportunity to do so. Whatever's sort of thrown at us, whatever's thrown at me personally, you know, it's fine. It's, it's one of those things. Just keep sort of working through it. Like I say, the walk itself, probably not the time to go on a walk that takes the best part of the day. <laughs> on the Monday when we book the week off uh, from, from normal work um, to do everything for the wedding. But again, I still want to sort of keep to my commitments. It's something we do every bank holiday. Really, really get so much from it. And as I mentioned right at the start, if I'd not done that, you know, I might have been sort of mulling over one or two of those things, but all the time, certain things are getting said and done. All I'm doing is walking, talking to friends in high spirits. And again, it's keeping me on top of it. And of course, I always insist on never miss a Monday. It's a great way to attack the week, getting out for a good walk. It's something I, I try to fit in into my normal weeks when it's not bank holiday, when I am at work. And it's just a brilliant way to, to get things up and running for the week. Whilst I might be struggling at points to get out and get in more activity, because I accept it will get busy, it will get quite manic over the next couple of days. I'm going to do my absolute best to, to build on that. Of course, it's Tuesday training, Wednesday workout to come next. These are the mantras that I, I'm talking about. These are the daily motivations that I work off. And I've kind of got to find a way to do that as well, haven't I? You know, it, it's what makes it work for me to this point. So why shouldn't it work through this point? You know, and, and then beyond that, of course, I've been speaking a lot in recent weeks about routine and really, really getting back to things. So I think, think the key message in everything is just when something works, when you know it makes you happy, you know, just keep doing it. It'd been easy to postpone that walk till the next bank holiday and pick it up again, but we're following a route. We've got a mission with that to recreate my steps through the Robin Hood way. I did the exact same walk last year and whilst it takes a lot of effort and commitment and the logistics are, are not quite easy as well. And with other sort of things happening at the same time, it's great to just keep getting out there, doing what you do, you know, doing what puts a smile on your face and it and ultimately nothing else really matters because like I said, whatever happens this week, whatever whatever is sent to try us, you know, we'll get over it because the bigger picture is that on Saturday I'm getting married to Kate and that's exactly what I want to do. You know, nobody can ruin that that feeling, you know, that, that experience. I definitely won't allow I don't allow negativity at any point, so this week it's definitely not going to creep in. Determined to make sure that happens. But, of course, things don't always work out as planned. You know, sometimes we uh, we get a little bit upset and, and we don't know what's going to knock us off our perch a little bit. So for me, it's just about doing all the things that I need to do around all the things that I have to do this week, all the things that are going to keep me busy and perhaps going to take a little bit more thought than normal, but hopefully you understand the reason why I've still got to do the things I do. Today has been a classic example of that, you know, just from the fact that I've managed to keep a smile on my face, not get too fed up. I've had to be quite abrupt and blunt and say things the way I see it, but again, it's not eating away at me once I've done that, once I've said it. It's just been a case of getting about my business, enjoying the bonus of a bank holiday, the bonus of a bank holiday walk, and the bonus of being in good company, in great spirits, feeling happy and content, when it would be easy not to, when it'd be easy to get stressed and really, really sort of wrapped up in a lot of emotions what a wedding brings. I can totally understand that, but again, I'm determined to get through it and determined to get through another week 
in tip top form. Hopefully you have a great week guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed what I'm trying to say that, or, or understood at least. And hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give this episode a thumbs up. That'd be absolutely amazing. Just trying to build a channel of positivity, something that little bit different. You know, I'm not droning on about your mental health or what you need to do or, or preaching through this. What I'm trying to be is an honest and relatable take on how Life sometimes affects us, you know. I've not singled anyone out. I've not made an example of anybody. It's just my experience and how hopefully that can relate into what you're doing. So, like I say, I hope it's a great week. Have a great evening. Until Tuesday training, check back in then. Just doing it. <laughs>